What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC Spike Myth Cup video. So today, I mean, I just got off of work, but I had an idea I wanted to test. Uh, I don't know, I like all day at work today, I was like, I want to use a Tapu Koko, I want to use a Marowak, I want to use Combine Landorus. Uh, these are all bad ideas, but I figured I might as well give them a shot. I don't know what I am on the ladder, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty mid on the ladder. Uh, the, the, the spike. Oh, I'm, I'm like low, low. That's fine. I have not gotten any games with this team yet, and I just want to test it out. So yeah, that's what today's video is going to be. Very quick one. I just got home. I'm like, yeah, let's let's test out a team and just make a video about it. So yeah, before we get into that, if you guys uh, enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications because I bring you daily VGC content and answer my comment question of the day, which is going to be, what topics do you want me to cover in shorts? I've actually been putting out some YouTube shorts lately, uh, and the main point of them is to cover topics that... Uh, I don't really warrant a full video like someone once asked me like hey why does Reggie like you run max speed even though it's faster than everything else uh, so that's something I made a short about should be dropping any day now so yeah let's go ahead and get into the video uh, this like I said is a team I quite literally threw together like five seconds ago uh, but it's just uh, Alola Marok with a thick club. Uh, if you can't tell, I miss VGC 2017 uh, with this trio here, but uh, it's thick club Alola Marowak. We have Lightning Rod, Flare Blitz, Protect, Poltergeist, Bone Meringue. I might switch it for Shadow Bone uh, just to be more consistent, but that, that Poltergeist is really strong. I don't know. We'll, we'll keep it as Poltergeist for now, but uh, we're just running max HP, max attack, four special defense, zero speed, so we have a Trick Room Pokemon. Uh, and of course, under Trick Room, uh, we are susceptible to getting put to sleep by Amoongus, so in that in that situation, we would actually probably switch in the Tapu Koko and allow the Marowak to do something. We have a Life Orb Landers with Sheer Force, Life Orb, uh, Protect, Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, Calm Mind, just a timid Max Max uh, set. I'm a little bit of a coward. The more I look at it, the more I lose to Urshfu Rapid Strike. So, uh, well, not really. Still, let, let's let's just put Psychic on here to be safe. Uh, I could put a Rock Move, but I think Psychic is just best for coverage. Uh, we have a Choice Band Urshfu Rapid Strike, Surging Strikes, Close Combat, Aqua Jet U-Turn. Uh, that's going to combo really well with our Assault Vest Tabu Coco. We're guaranteed to outspeed uh, Pokemon that hit base 190, or Pokemon that hit 190, uh, which is basically just Naganadel. Uh, we're going to hit it with an Electroweb, outspeed it with either Landris or Urshifu, and pick up a KO. So I, I feel like I have to like explain this. The reason I was kind of thinking about putting Calm Mind on Landris uh, is because I feel like Landris exudes so much just pressure by existing on the field that you could get away with Calm Mind, like almost a free Calm Mind. Uh, but I think I'm going to save that for a future video because honestly, I would want to make it bulkier and I'd probably run it still with a Tabu Koko, but uh, maybe a few more Pokemon to eliminate like opposing Urshfu Rapid Strike. Uh, we have leftover Celesteela. I just calced this guy to take a Wicked Blow from Urshifu at 50, uh, at 49%. So, you know, leftovers, super nice. Uh, we have Heavy Slam, Leech Seed, Substitute, and Protect. Uh, our Beast Boost will be boosting our Physical Defense stat, which is super cool in this format. Uh, and yeah, just pretty standard Celesteela. We have Miracle Seed, Rillaboom, Grassy Glide, U-Turn, Protect, Fake Out. I'm using Miracle Seed because the Assault Vest is taken pretty much, but yeah. And I, honestly, that's all we really have to talk about. Let's just grab some games. Let's just get some games. Let's let's be chill tonight. Hopefully uh, this goes well because I don't want to record another video tonight. I am tired. <laughs> I've been real busy. I've been real busy. Not so busy that I hate making YouTube. Uh, but like, because, uh, you know, I, I love making YouTube videos. But uh, busy enough where I'm like, man, some nights I, I just, I, some nights I should just go to sleep. I should. And I do release a video every day, even if it is in short form. But... Uh, I want to make sure I'm feeding that YouTube algorithm that good stuff, you know, that that porridge, that that video porridge. That's how you know I'm tired. I'm talking about porridge. And why can't I get a game? Hello? Ladder? Oh, okay, okay, there we go. Uh, it's also been a couple of days since I actually played Pokemon. Because like I said, busy guy. But... Uh, ooh, wait. They have like no Celesteela answers on this team unless they're like a Meteor Beam Nihiligo. Uh, or if they can like really like mess me up with the uh, with the Moltres, I'm thinking uh, Celesteel is pretty mandatory. And oh my god, my my Marowak can go really hard here if I get it on the field versus Celesteela, but they do have a few answers for it. Most things just drop to though one, two, three, four. 
I'm thinking it's kind of worth it, but I have to be careful. Let's go with the, uh, the Celesteela lead. I think it's relatively safe. And... Tebacoco, I think, is probably fine. Barowak in the back, and I think my last Mon is going to be this, uh, Landorus. Since it does pretty decently into- ah, no, I should probably go with Urshifu. Okay, I mean, like, this is effectively, like, the lead that we want. So here, anticipating them to want to go for a fake out onto my Tapu Koko, uh, it would make a lot of sense to try to go for a substitute here. And I think I just let them fake out me. I don't really go down to anything, so I can try to Electroweb. Why not? Or I could even Volt Switch. Yeah, why not? Oh, okay. They just kind of let me do that. Let's get a Marowak. So they go for the me. Oh, no. Don't. Don't. Okay, well, that could not have gone worse. <laughs> You know, on preview, I was like, what if it's, what if it's the, uh, the meteor beam set? And I was like, nah, no one runs that. Okay, so, uh, so right off the bat, you know, that happens. Um, I would say it's in my best interest to go with the Tapu Koko here. And it's kind of rough. I, I can't lie, that's kind of rough. One would assume they would go for Flash Cannon. Obviously, my Urshifu doesn't like that, and a lot of things in the back can outspeed me. Um, maybe we just double down onto it. Hope for the best. I'm just... I Honestly, I'm just baffled by that read. Meteor Beam does tell me... Okay, they do go for the Protect now. They go for Close Combat. Um, that kind of just tells where their priorities are. Let me think. I, I kind of have to hold on to the Coco. That's the issue. Let's do something kind of risky. I'm going to go Urshifu here and I'm going to Electroweb. And the reason this is kind of risky is because I sort of need them to go for the Coco. <laughs> like, Electroweb should KO me and here, but, um, yeah. I mean, like, late game Celesteela can, like, body their team is the thing, right? Get a KO, get that speed drop. Not that that matters too much, but let's see. They do go for the Coco. I am going to survive it. And now I have the Urshifu in next to the uh, the, uh, the 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 Celesteela, which is really all that I want. Uh, unless this is Scarf Nihiligo, we're in a pretty decent spot because I can lock Surging Strikes and Electroweb. Cool. All right, that will go down. I get rid of this, uh, then the Hiligo. And I think we're in a pretty good spot. It really just comes down to if they have a Moongus. And it's Galarian Moltres, which is honestly just great news for me. Uh, let's go for the Surging Strikes as well as the Electroib again. Because I don't want to get outsped by like Scarf Moltres or something. And it's not like they KO both my Mons here. And it's not like they can even protect versus this. That should be a win. Nice. That, that scared me. Like, that, that scared me so much. I can't lie. That was one of the rougher starts to the, to the video. You guys ever just, like, have that where you go, Wow, you know what? This team would be terrifying if they were running this very specific but uncommon set. Glad that isn't going to be a thing. And then just immediately you, you face that. Like, that. sometimes, sometimes it feels like being a YouTuber is a curse. <laughs> Like, I'll be honest, sometimes it, it, it really hits you. You're like, oh, yeah, I forgot. This just happens to you. <laughs> As we face naked Psyduck, I'm going to get demonetized. Uh, ooh, if they go for Trick Room, the Marowak here goes insane. AV Tapu Koko is really good. Honestly, I didn't invest this Tapu Koko for anything super specific, so let me run a calc really quick. <laughs> um, Kingdra, can we take a Muddy Water? Muddy water, in the rain, rain, helping handed. Yeah, we eat. Okay, we're, we're fine. That's what I was like concerned about more than anything. Uh, Celesteel is also like super duper good here. Rillaboom's also really crazy good. It goes, how we say, insane mode. Um, 
I mean, I like the uh, Urshifu Rillaboom lead. It's just very, uh, it, it's it's very aggressive. I kind of want to bring the Marowak in case they go for Trick Room and then I get like bodied by uh, this guy. But honestly, the, the Urshifu should be enough to deal with it. I think I still go with you. And, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go crazy. Let's get wild. Let's party. Let's get loud. Um, I have never watched Jersey Shore. I just have to throw that out there. Just so you guys know, I would never. You would never catch me watching that show. Uh, do you want to see the craziest read ever? Check this out. Check this out. Switch out your... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy with it today. That's one. Boom. Bam. Bop. Bada bop. Bo. They got off Trick Room anyways. <laughs> I mean, I respect it. I, I have to respect it. Uh, let's go ahead and go for the uh, U-turn should be fine. It's actually probably the safest play. Yeah. Getting the Marowak Alola. They go for the Iron Defense. I get my U-turn. I get my Urshifu. And uh, their options here are pretty limited. They can't fake out the Marowak without getting absolutely annihilated by Flare Blitz. Uh, and I can just always go for Surging Strikes into the Incineroar. It's like always safe. It is always morally correct. They go for the Protect. That's fine. I don't think I dropped to... Stomping Tantrum. Hello? <laughs> you know, that there were a lot of moves that could have come out there. That was not the one I was going to predict. That was not at all what I was predicting. What's their last mom? Probably like Politoed? I'd imagine it's Politoed. If it's Rillaboom, they, they just lose probably. Yeah, there's Poly. Um, and he does want a cracker. Funny enough. You know, I was wondering when you would ask. Uh, yeah, he wants a cracker. Ooh, wait, this can be kind of rough if I don't get my Urshi off the field soon enough. I would argue Flare Blitz here is still fine because of that initial damage. And I'm going to lose my Marowak, but I have to get in Rillaboom here. Iron Defense. Okay, that's fine. I get the burn, which is huge. They're going to scald me. I should go down. That's incredible. Urshifu comes in, and now I can go for my close combat, as well as a, uh, a grassy glide. Because with the burn, I don't drop to anything. Ooh, wait. This could be kind of rough now that I think about it. I do kind of have to wait. I forgot Trick Room's up. I might have freaked it there. May have freaked it. 100%. Um, let's go for the glide anyways. Stay in, you know. I could have gotten it there. You go for the seed. I'm going to have to, like, substitute to win this game. Uh, let's get an Urshifu here and we'll U-turn on Politoed. All right, Celestila, both of my guys can eat. Yeah, I was going to say, both of them can totally eat here. Close combat, still super safe. Let's go for a substitute, assuming that they want to go for a Leech Seed. They, they can't stay in. Like, they, they have to switch if they want to keep their best position. Okay, let's see if I drop to this. I don't think I do. They go for another iron defense. Okay. Uh, I can go for close combat and heavy slam still fine. Because I just need to make sure I keep up that, that offensive pressure. And who knows, maybe I'll crit. Ooh, okay. All right. I mean, the, the heavy slam is obviously not going to do it. But they are kind of hurting here. Oh, they're definitely not in range of this, but I have to try anyways. They are 100% not in range of this, but I have to try. Pain. Pain. I could have Flare Blitz like three turns ago and avoided this. Not three turns, like five turns ago and avoided this whole situation. Oh, yo. Got it. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, I won. <laughs> I got away with it. Yeah, you drop to that. Um, I can always just like heavy slam the mimic you. Yeah. Uh, 
that's fine that's fine cool grassy glide uh leech seed technically optimal does about you know most of your health um they go for the wind that's fine i get the leech seed off i don't think they can win this by any by any like stretch of the imagination it's pretty difficult for them one would imagine here that they go for the protect i ko them anyways next turn so i i have to substitute here in case they want to just you know protect but yeah all right cool gg well played yeah that that ferrothorn had the potential to absolutely like steal the game from me Ooh, hello what are you doing what year are you playing 2020 20 i mean not really i mean you have one non 2020 mon um i'm kind of scared what is this gonna do I'm trying to think how do you activate steam engine this thing doesn't get aqua jet i know that uh it looks like my Marowak's like just absolutely going to annihilate them, to be honest. I just have to play it right. Uh, let's go with the... Is Marowak Landorus like correct? Marowak Urshifu might be correct. Lando in the back doesn't seem that bad. Celesteel is probably safer in case they do get a Trick Room off. Um, and we'll go Rillaboom because I honestly have enough ways of dealing with the Colossal. Okay, I mean, this could have gone better. Electroweb probably won't one-shot me, but um, I didn't think they'd lead off Dracovish here. I was, I was kind of, it's kind of tunnel visioning into the, uh, <laughs> into the whole, uh, the, uh, the, the colossal thing. How do I do this? How do I get out of this? Let's protect and go Rillaboom. Okay, I don't know why you did that. Cool. Um, I mean, I can fake out the Dracovish and get in my Urshifu again. Yeah. One would imagine their Scarf. Their fake out Indeedy, hello? Well, now we don't know. <laughs> now we have no way of telling. Uh, I would say here, Choice Bandit Surging Strikes probably doesn't do it. I also don't want a U-turn in case they're not Scarf because we have no way of telling yet. Let's just, uh, you know, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. They're going to follow me. I would have met. They don't follow me. Okay, you're just going to give me this? Well, they're at the very least going to give me the Regieleki. Cool. This is a weird match. I'm sorry. Low ladder can be weird and just have to accept that. That's just like the reality of this game. Uh, do I want to hold on to Marowak or Celesteela? It's kind of the choice I have here. Because I U-turn like every time. Uh, I think it's probably better just to sack the whack and U-turn here on the, on the Vish. Okay. Uh, getting the Celesteela should be fine. This is a weird game. Uh, they can't KO both of my mons. I think. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know. Let's just do this. This is a weird game. I want to see... Show me the Colossal. Like, you, you got me all excited. I'm like, oh, he's going to do something cool with Colossal. No, it's just follow me Dracovish stuff. Like, it's, it's very standard. Okay. Cool. Um, getting the Rillaboom here. As we all know, the Strakovish can be faked out. We also have Choice Banded Aqua Jet, so like regardless of how this works out, we're still fine. Uh, let's go ahead and go for Leech Seed. As they just hand this over to me. I still don't know what your Colossal is going to do, and we miss. And we miss. Alright. Um, Tunnel Vision onto you, because we beat it with the... Uh, the Urshifu in the back. I don't know what this thing's going to do. Mystical Fire. I guess maybe you should have side targeted. 
Interesting. All right, that was weird. That was a weird one, GG. Do you think they like misplayed and meant to like side target? Because they had they side targeted there, I could see that maybe working out, but not really because Celesteela would have lived anyways. I don't know. All right. What are we? We're 20 minutes into the video? Okay. I mean, I really want this Marowak to do something, you know? So far, the Coco seems to be the star of the show, seems to be absolutely carrying these games. And Ladder doesn't seem super active right now. Ooh, okay. Uh, another interesting team. Politoed is kind of weird here. Um, yeah, I'm getting matches in like the 1100s. I, I guess maybe I shouldn't record on like a Wednesday night or a Tuesday night, whatever night it is. Because uh, a lot of people are just like not online. Two electric types. I mean, Landorus is obviously like one of my most incredible Pokemon in this matchup. Um, however, notably Raikou does get access to Scald or Weather Ball, which could be a little bit frustrating here. Let's go ahead and lead off with... Uh, I think Lando leads fine. Lando leads fine. Uh, Rillaboom in the back's good too. Kind of tempted to go Marowak because they don't have too much for that. You know, granted that they don't have Weather Ball or Scald. Uh, and my last Mon is probably going to be the Urshifu. Uh, I kind of get outspit by a lot of things here. Celesteel is also not that great, not that great either because they have a lot of answers to it. Uh, maybe we just go Coco. Okay, I don't know what you're gonna do. Uh, I don't like it though. Let's, uh. I mean, I can one shot this Raikou, obviously. They don't have any switch ins to this, so I think it's for the best that I just go for the fake out on the Thunderous, assuming that they're gonna go for like Rain Dance Weather Ball. Or they can just switch in the Politoed and I lose. <laughs> you know, um. There are some nights where you just go, Marcos, you know, that was that was a little that was a little telegraphed. That was a little telegraphed. I don't know how you uh <laughs> I don't know how you missed that one. Okay. Uh end of the world? No, not at all. Let me think. Yeah, that was actually like super obvious, and I'm really dumb for missing that. I I, I forgot Polytoad existed. Sorry guys. <laughs> Let me think. Um can this Raikou annihilate me? Maybe. I think my play is just going to be to like Electroweb, Grassy Glide, go for damage. It's not like their damage output's like super high now. Sunny Day? Okay, I guess you're going to want to go for... Ooh, the scarier Weather Ball. Ooh, the scarier Weather Ball is coming up next. Uh, I can live that with my Coco. I want to get rid of Politoed more than anything. Cool. Guys, I you know what? I comments, calm down comments. I'm I'm really tired today. <laughs> Sleepy. <laughs> Just calm down comments. <laughs> okay. Um I mean, it could be worse. Obviously, it could be worse. I could not have access to Bone Meringue. Weather Ball is obviously going to hurt. They're probably going to outspeed me. Cool. Uh, they're in range of the next one. Honestly, I'm fine with like Rillaboom, Tapu Koko being my last two. I would very much prefer to not have uh, my Koko at minus one speed, though, to be honest, but... Uh, I'll take it. Are you Weather Ball? You are Weather Ball. I mean, they'll probably never see the Discharge coming, if we're being real. Please go Politoed. No, alright, that's fine. 
Because we're gonna KO this guy. I think we're still gonna get away with this despite me playing absolutely garbage. That's the YouTuber difference, guys. You can play absolutely garbage and still win a match. Follow your dreams. Uh, let's do this. Because I just spam, I, I literally just spam um, discharge and I win. Follow your dreams and you can play bad and win too. Um, you don't go down, dude. My own electro rod. Or my own. Yeah, you don't go down to discharge. Let's go for the fake out on the Thundee. I'd imagine Politoed goes down. GG, I trolled. Did, what? I'm confused what you mean by I trolled. Or you trolled, I guess. All right. <laughs> Let's uh, let's let's wrap this one up with uh, with a game where I'm not like having mad sleepy boy vibes. Ooh, Tapu Bulu, I respect it. You know, um, it was like a year. No, it was uh, around Players Cup, first Players Cup or the second Players Cup. I posted a meme uh, that it, in editing, I'll I'll throw it up when I do the stupid play, uh, and. Uh, <laughs> And you'll know what it's it's like I guess I can say it now because it's gonna be in the video already, but it, it's like I wanna I know I need to stop uh using an electric move or what no. It was like the Tapu Finny thing. I know I need to stop using like Will O Wisp uh when I switch in my Tapu Finny, but I don't want to. Uh but this time it's like electro uh electric moves and my stupid <laughs> Marowak. Uh but yeah, I you would do that all the time in 2017. It would it would happen all the time. It was a classic. You know, you could say it was a misplay. I call it Throwback Thursday. All right, Rillaboom lead seems like really solid here. Uh, I can U-turn a lot of things that I don't want to stay in on. Uh, as far as the rest of my team, obviously the rain makes me want to go Tapu Coco. Don't exactly need my terrain with Coco, so I'm fine getting the the grassy up. Uh, in the back here. Celestela Landorus feels really solid. Okay, yeah. I mean, that's basically what I wanted. Let's go for the fake out onto the Incineroar as well as an Electroweb, I think is fine because I don't, I, I would imagine they just go right in with like Politoed. And honestly, the speed drop's really good. I have to fake out Incineroar too rather than Kingdra because there's a solid chance they might just protect the Kingdra. Yep. Coolio. Very cool. That was actually pretty low damage. I think that might be AV. I don't have I, I don't have like the strongest electro web without my terrain, but uh, that that felt like AV damage. That felt very AV. Let's go for the. Hmm. I want to protect here and go for another one. Because we know I eat that up. Uh, didn't eat it as well as I hoped. Helping hand will obviously not be great for me. Don't have protect on my Coco. Uh, do I want to sack Celesteela? I don't. I think if I sack anything, I end up having to sack Landorus, but I still don't want to do that is the issue. I go Celesteela here. Uh, let's U-turn go Celesteela. Celesteela can eat the hit. Let's see if they uh, muddy water here. Why so fat? Standard Coco is fat. This format. Cool. So, you you all might have noticed that I'm totally faking having wide guard right now, right? You all noticed that, right? Just, just checking. <laughs> I'm 100% faking. Let's go for the seed. I could also try to Dazzling Gleam. Thank you, thank you. All right. Man. Do I web? I'm not faster than this guy. Let's just go for the... Let's go for the Gleam. Yeah, the Seed's really nice. I think they expected me to be faster, so I kind of got away with that. 
All right, I can eat that up. No burn. Awesome. If I can get rid of Politoed early, this is actually really huge for me. Let's go for uh, let's go for Volt Switch, and let's go for another Leech Seed. Actually, oh, they let me get rid of Politoed. That crit may have mattered. I'm not sure. Um, but here I should be able to. I go Lando here just to make sure they don't Flare Blitz my my guy. The U-turn. Two turns of rain. At the end of this turn, the rain's gonna go away. Uh, and they have no more speed control. Except, you know, unless they have like uh Electro Raikou. But I really doubt that's the case. Oh, it's Spectre, okay. Uh we just double protect her. Oh, he thought his Wakan was still there. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, my play is pretty straightforward. Bro, earlier in the vid, I Volt switched with Coco and switched in Whack. <laughs> it was bad. All right. That's just like my catch-all excuse, sleepy. Yeah, it's like, I'm telling you guys, it is a classic. I can't spell. That's what I'm saying. Okay, uh, Leech Seed Spectre seems to be always correct. It's fine if you protect here, I can tank it. Leech Seed. Very cool, very poggers. Protect. Do I heavy slam here? I could heavy slam and get a lot of damage off. And then it's like Rillaboom food. I think that's the play. Yeah, because they can't leave Landers alone. It's too scary. Don't do the thing. Okay, it didn't do the thing. Decent, decent damage, cool. Uh, and I still do it again. I do it again. Absolutely. Earth power, heavy slam. That's fine. That's like a fair trade for me. Uh, I can get in the Rillaboom now. Cool. And yeah, uh, they are pretty much out of options here. Uh, last turn, what did they do with the guy? Sorry, I'm tired. They ice beamed. One would imagine they have to, f uh, they have to protect here. Uh, and I can just Leech Seed Kingdra. Hey, all right, GG, well played. Cool, all right, so uh, Sleepy Session ends undefeated somehow. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this ended undefeated. I might have already forgotten if I lost a game. I should have lost a couple of those. I'll be real with you guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I, I'm your streamer, I'm your YouTuber. You can trust me. I should have lost a couple of those, but uh, regardless, we got away with it. Marowak did its job. It made me Volt Switch on my own alone in Marowak, so we're good. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just still laughing at myself for that. It is a VGC 2017 classic. But yeah, have a nice one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.